is no definite platform for dedicated to hidden app apology except speed and uh, so that's why i got it speed i have repeatedly seen the videos and make notes of the videos which are very very like which is our good good book so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute dr to dr anshu mangla for scoring topmost rank of aml rank number 1 in specialty of mch head and neck oncology and head and neck surgery uh, in any ss session april 2024 congratulations to you, doctor thank you so much sir thank you great now can we know a little uh, brief background history of us from where you started till date uh sir uh, i have done my ug and pg from pg dnt from pgms rotak and i have completed my post graduation in dnt in uh, july 2021 i guess and thereafter i have applied for fhn of fellowship of september 2021 and uh, i got rajiv gandhi cancer hospital rohini i did two year of fellowship in adenic oncology surgery from rajiv gandhi rohini and i have completed in november 2023 okay great now yes. ent is an end specialty and want to do a super specialty on that uh, when it started and how it started so actually rotak i have done my post graduation from rotak and rotak being a high tobacco bed i have seen lot many patients of adenic uh, cancers in rotak and since there was no any comprehensive cancer care dedicated to head and neck portal so since then i was like hey, uh, i want to do this so and uh, over i was very fascinated from oncology uh, since my since ever my pg days excellent great doctor can you tell us what you did and how you started your preparation what are your st- preparation strategies that uh, helped you what are the key be in the success to achieve rank number 1 sir uh, i have not joined any there after my selection <laughs> okay so yeah i i just sat at home and uh, i think i guess i have studied for 3 months Fe- february uh, march and april and dedicatedly i have studied for i was aspiring for iess only and i dedicatedly i have studied for the exam and that's done great doctor so 3 months of full time preparation yes. uh, you have done uh, and uh, what did you do in this 3 months what all you did from for the entire day I mean how you used to study what all things you followed can you tell us on uh, that sir i think iess is basically the exam of strategy uh, plus the tejas of videos they are very concise and to the point and uh, my words please convey to tejas sir also sure uh, yes sir. uh sir uh, i have repeatedly seen the videos and make notes of the videos which are very very like uh which are the uh, sir took some topics from the spot down which are which is our book board book so i have made some notes from that also i have the surg- general surgery classes also plastic surgery which, is, which was very very helpful the general surgery the topics which you taught also so i have made the notes and uh, I think I have revised it like four to five times. Great. Now, uh, how you joined Speed? I mean, uh, uh, who <laughs> recommended you to do so? Sir, actually, uh, I've searched a lot more. Um, I've searched very thoroughly how to prepare, how to go through the preparation phase, and there is no definite platform for dedicated to head and neck oncology except Speed, and uh, so that's why I. got it speed and there is as such no book dedicated to head and neck oncology not even mcq any specific book so it's a very heavy i think but uh, at the end speeds uh, more or less sold, sold out everything so you you got what you wanted i mean was the content and resource was adequate for you to uh, apply for this exam and prepare for this exam and also to succeed in this exam i think the videos are very very to the point and concise uh, even if we got even anybody get through the videos again and again again and again revise them like four to five times four to five times uh, that is sufficient for the exam okay doctor how many questions did you attend doctor in the exam so there is one discrepancy in one question so it's it's like 79 only because one question is like there was no arrow pointed so i have attempted 
took my interview basically and uh, they asked me uh, i think uh, i have already done the fellowship so they asked me basically the clinical scenario questions okay so was it uh, doable I mean i mean uh, I mean it was able to handle the questions I mean how it was I mean the standard was at the superficiality level or what they are trying to uh, check with you Uh, so first uh, first of all they have uh, they have started with the inter- introduction part they have uh, uh, like uh, they uh, uh, it went smooth and uh, after introduction the clinical scenario questions they were asked total questions asked from me were five in number and uh, it okay. was not very difficult it was not very easy <laughs> okay okay doctor what will be your message to the juniors or aspiring for this mch head and neck uh, surgery uh, obviously the preparation phase is tedious the branch is also tedious uh, and tellingly it's a very hard working branch also in future but uh, my message to all of the students is please enjoy the journey this journey is important just and after getting over this phase uh, the success will be sure if you enjoy this journey and the speed uh, as speed as an old will help you a lot great doctor now time to thank and whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to do so who have part of building your career so far uh, sir firstly i want to thank my parents my teachers my fellowship mentor dr modit sarwal all my teachers at the speed app warm critics to teja sir so obviously you and uh, my husband dr kapil great doctor we we will convey all your wishes and uh, your greetings and thanks to all the respective faculty dr teja and also to all the team members we wish you all the best and all the success once again to have a great career in mca chennai oncology and uh, in, in years to come you are going to do your passionate subject that you wanted and you will be there in that and for that advance wishes and congratulations thank you sir. thank you, thank you.